Next question is explain D flip flop with the help of timing diagram January February 2021 okay so explain D flip flop so what is meant by D flip flop D flip flop is also called as your delay flip flop or data flip flop okay so what are the uh, how what is your block diagram of your D flip flop the D flip flop will consist of one input that is D and your second input is going to be a clock signal okay the flip flop output changes only in response to your clock signal okay the clock can be of two types either it can be a rising edge uh, trigger or it can be falling edge trigger so what will be your output q will be your output q dash will be your complement okay so this is your diagram of your rising edge trigger and what will be your uh, falling edge trigger you have your clock to be negative so your clock if there is a bubble it is called as falling edge trigger okay your input is going to be your d output q q dash okay so this is your falling edge trigger flip flop so whatever be the input the output is going to remain the same but it your output you will obtain only after a certain delay that is why it's called as a data flip flop or delay flip flop so what will be your truth table a characteristic table which consists of your present state and the next state you have the input to be 0 and 1 right so when it is uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so when your data input is 0 you can have your present state to be either 0 or 1 similarly when data is equal to 1 you may have your a present state to be 0 or 1 so what will be your q plus when data is equal to 0 d is equal to 0 your output will be equal to 0 when d is equal to 1 your output will be equal to 1 because the output will be same as that of your d so based on this what will be your characteristic equation q plus is equal to here you have 1 here you have 1 so you have d q dash plus d q right plus d q so if i take d as common q dash plus q what will be your uh, value it will be 1 so q plus the next state will be your d or this is your characteristic equation now what will be your timing diagram so for example if i take the input input d as 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay if this is your d input and the flip flop will resp re respond only to the clock pulse right so if this is your clock if i take this as negative edge trigger negative edge trigger means so this is clock clock that is negative trigger so uh, it triggers during the falling edge okay so what will be your output the output will be when it is during the first clock what is happening your data is equal to 1 so your you will be having a small delay here during the second clock what is your data data here is 0 so it, during the second clock your data will be going to 0 third clock what happens your data is equal to 1 again your, it will remain in 1 so here also it is 1 it still remains in 1 now here it will go to your 0 so during the falling edge here it is 0 so here it will go back to your 0 this is how the same input if input is equal to 1 your output q also will be equal to 1 but you will be getting it after a certain delay if input is equal to 0 your output will go back to your 0 okay so this is your working principle of your d flip flop